Welcome to the Mississippi Valley Division, where we are building strong. We are a regional headquarters located in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and are responsible for the water resources programs for the Corps of Engineers. Our boundary encompasses the entire Mississippi River, comprises all or parts of 12 states, and includes more than 4,200 miles of commercial waterways, 62 locks, and 36 flood control reservoirs. The Mississippi Valley Division is located in the center of the 1.25 million square mile Mississippi River drainage basin that gathers water from 41% of the continental United States and includes all or parts of 31 states and two Canadian provinces. Our districts are located in St. Paul, Minnesota, Rock Island, Illinois, St. Louis, Missouri, Memphis, Tennessee, Vicksburg, Mississippi, and New Orleans, Louisiana. Hello, I'm Major General Diana Holland, Commander of the Mississippi Valley Division, and I'm standing here near Alma, Wisconsin, next to Lock and Dam Number 4. We pass through more than 5,000 barges annually. This is just one of many sites that the Corps manages to support the Mississippi River and the navigation mission. The Mississippi Valley Division is an amazing region. It is very large and it is very diverse. It runs from the north up to the border of Canada, all the way to the south of the Gulf of Mexico. We oversee many of the core missions in this region, including navigation, flood risk management, environmental stewardship, regulatory, and disaster response. One of the unique aspects about this region is the relationship with our partners and our stakeholders, as well as our contractors. We have to work together to maintain this river to ensure that America maintains its economic competitive edge in the global economy. The mission of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in the Mississippi Valley dates back to 1824 with the passing of the nation's first Rivers and Harbors Act, which authorized river improvements. Today, MVD's mission has been expanded to include flood risk management and environmental sustainability. Our Civil Works missions include navigation. Keeping the river open and reliable is a pillar of economic stability and national security. 692 million tons of cargo move on the Mississippi River system each year. Dredging is one way that we can help to ensure that goods can move in and out of our nation's ports. The Mississippi Valley Division executes about 50% of the Corps of Engineers dredging mission. Environmental sustainability and holistic watershed approaches are integral to the ecosystem restoration mission and overall project and program environmental approach of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The division manages more than 2.3 million acres of public lands and waters. Emergency operations. Each year, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers deploys hundreds of its trained personnel and resources across the United States and its territories to respond to emergencies and aid in disaster response and recovery. The regulatory program is committed to protecting the nation's aquatic resources and navigation capacity while allowing reasonable development through fair and balanced decisions. The Corps evaluates permit applications for essentially all construction activities that occur in the nation's waters, including wetlands. Because of hydropower's significant advantages over other energy sources, clean, efficient, reliable, and renewable, it plays an increasingly important role in meeting the nation's energy needs. Within the Mississippi Valley Division's boundary are four Corps of Engineers plants that produce 226.5 megawatts of power. The Corps of Engineers is one of the largest providers of outdoor recreation in the federal government. One out of every 10 Americans visit a Corps recreation site each year. Reducing risk and preventing flood-related damages can be accomplished by several means, through structural measures such as reservoirs, levees, channels, and flood walls that modify the characteristics of floods, or with non-structural measures, such as floodplain evacuation, flood proofing, and floodway acquisitions that alter the way people use these areas and reduce the susceptibility of human activities to flood risk. 
Another feature inherent to the Lower Mississippi River Valley is the Mississippi River and Tributaries Project, which was authorized by the 1928 Flood Control Act. In the wake of the devastating 1927 flood, it was deemed necessary to put into place a comprehensive, unified system of public works within the Lower Mississippi Valley that would provide unprecedented flood risk management and an equally efficient navigation channel. The MRNT project employs a variety of engineering techniques to provide enhanced flood protection to more than 4 million people living in the 22.4 million acre project footprint while maintaining a mutually compatible and efficient navigation channel. These features of the MRNT work in tandem to provide flood risk management and navigation and foster environmental protection and enhancement. Since 1928, $1.54 trillion in flood damages have been prevented. That's a $95 return on each dollar invested in the system. The Mississippi River Commission is charged by Congress to oversee the prosecution of the Mississippi River and Tributaries Project. The Commission's proud heritage dates back to 1879 when Congress established the seven-member commission to remake the Mississippi River into a reliable commercial artery while protecting adjacent farms and towns from its powerful floods. Shortly after its creation, the MRC began coordinating local efforts, setting standards for levy construction, and allocating funds to the cash-strapped levy districts. In the process of face-to-face -face interaction and open dialogue, the MRC evolved into a springboard for Mississippi Valley interests to have a greater voice in shaping federal policy a vehicle that continues to operate to this day through semi-annual high and low water inspection trips each spring and fall. Common threads woven throughout the Corps are partnerships and the strength that they bring to the table in creating solutions to the betterment of our great nation. The Corps' greatest projects are the result of collaboration among our many federal, state, and local partners along with our stakeholders, including our contractors and customers. The Mississippi River system ties everything together and is the livelihood of our nation. Our ports and our inland waterways are vital to our national economy. Our vision is that of the entire U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We are part of the world's premier public engineering organization responding to our nation's needs in peace and war.